How is everyone doing out there today, man? It's your boy Shout coming at you with another My Team game from the PS4. Now, I did make some changes to my lineup. Uh, I replaced Matumbo with Roy Hibbert, and I also replaced Paul Millsap with Blake Griffin. Now, I'm just showing y'all, you know, the starting fives, and, you know, he pretty much have the advantage over me in a lot of areas. But we're not really worried about that, man. But, um, you know, like I said, it's not really about the players that you have. It's how you play the game. And this is going to be a hell of a game. This is going to be a very, very good game, man. And um, But, yeah, man, I, I, I'm really loving my team right now from the PS4. I'm trying to get used to that controller. It, it, it's... That PS4 controller is something I'm still trying to get used to because I love the way the Xbox can, I don't think there's no controller out there that's better than the Xbox controller. It's just the way the, the thumbs, the thumbsticks are positioned on the controller, you know, back, you know, in the PS2 days when I had a PS2. That was cool, but when Xbox 360 came out with the thumb, you know, the thumbsticks is one is down, you know, your right hand stick, your right hand thumbstick is down lower, and that left hand thumbstick is a little bit higher. It's like perfect, and I'm trying to get used to that, and, you know, the thumbsticks are kind of spaced out. You know, the, the controller itself is spaced out. So I'm still trying to get used to the PS4, but it is a beast machine. But um, y'all can see those away jerseys. And I know there's another thing too, man. I brought y'all my first My Team game on the PS4, you know, last week or whatever. And I was in my gym. And I, this is the sixth seed. I was in the seventh seed in that game. I pretty much just ran through the sixth seed. Um, you know, it really didn't have any, you know, too many problems except for the, the, the freezing glitch that's going on. I don't know if it's on the PS4 or the Xbox One. I don't know if it's just, you know, specific to one system. But I'm seeing this everybody having the trouble. But that's the only time I really just lost games off that uh, freezing. Look at this beautiful pass and play for Trevor Reason. But, uh, you know, those are the only times that I really just took, took an L. But ever since then, man, I have not played on my court. I don't see my court at all, man. I, I don't actually forgot how my damn court look like. Man, I'm like, man, I, when am I going to play in my arena? Because I have been playing away games. And this is like my fifth or sixth game away from my arena. Look at Trace McGrady with that and one cheese. But, uh, but yeah, man, I, I is it just me? Or if y'all play my team a lot, do they just keep y'all away from y'all arena for, like, so many amount of games? And you, when you do finally get to go back, it almost feel like you in a new arena, man. I have not played in my arena since the last time y'all saw my video last week. You know, at least y'all get to see what my away jerseys look like. Let me know what y'all think about the away jerseys. Uh, this guy... His colors are almost, nah, they're no way similar to mine, just the purple. And, you know, the light, the baby blue or whatever. But other than that, you know, it almost looked like my away jersey is going to be his home jersey for some, you know, just by just the way the court looks, you know, it almost, uh, you know, it, it goes with whatever his whole color scheme is doing right now a little bit. Right there, you see we playing good on ball, D. We're like, nah, you're not getting that to go. But this guy was killing me in the play, man. Let me go ahead and get back into this game. The gameplay that y'all seeing right now, man, this guy was really just tearing me up in the paint. It's like I could not stop him. You see, that's the Greek freak. And, uh, you know, you really have to change on the fly, man. Y'all don't see me do just that later on in this game. And this is going to be a long video. It's a long commentary. And y'all already know if y'all been rocking with me, my shit is all over the place. You see, we get that and one with Harrison Bourne. It's 16 minutes long. So, I mean, uh... Yeah, let's just go ahead and just, however this commentary go, that's where I'm going to go in this commentary. But, uh, but yeah, man, this guy was just, you know, just tearing our team up in the paint, man. It seemed like I could not stop him. And you see any time he do shoot a jumper, he's not making it right there. We get that steal off of Marcus Saul, and I get out to the garbage man. The garbage man get it out to Calderon, and he's going to knock down that layup. But, um, you know, it, it was just, it was terrible, man. You see right here, we have a four-point lead right here. I pull up the shot. I thought I was open, but he closed out just in time. I don't know how he closed out that damn fast, but it seemed like everything he was getting was real quick going to the basket, and that's what I really think 2K really need to, you know, upgrade. They need to patch the gameplay as far as that. Look at it. I, I never take threes with Westbrook because he don't hit them. But, I mean, I was, he gave me such a good pick, uh, such a good screen. I just had to take that three. And we have a five-point lead at this point. But um, if 2K is going to patch anything, and usually there's gameplay, you know, patches come in, you know, November, December, around that time. Don't patch the way the, you know, the shots are falling. I don't I don't think they need to patch anything as far as the shots and the way that they do fall. Just patch the defense. 
I, I'm not talking about everybody said defense is OP. But, yeah, defense is OP for the guys that like to play y'all ball because they know that the defense is going to do the work for them. And this is what I'm talking about. This guy, you know, as soon as I come down, you know, I'm coming down and I'm running plays and I'm getting people in the post like I did Roy Hibbert on the previous possession. And I'm getting him, you know, good shots to go into the paint. And this guy, all he has to do is just toss two passes and he's right at the rim. Again, you see that he's going to end one with um, LaMarcus Aldridge. But, I mean, they really need to patch that, man, because that's the only thing I really think they need to patch as far as gameplay is, you know, the transition defense. And I already have my transition defense to limit transition. I have it to limit transition, and it seems like it does not work. I have to actually switch off to my power forward and my center and, you know, and just turbo them down to the other end just so they can be down there to, the, you know, to the defend whatever. I'm just stumbling all over the place. You can see this Blake Griffin. That's why I got Blake Griffin for. I went and got Blake Griffin, really, because when I was playing in the 7th seed, man, everybody had Blake Griffin. They like to play off ball with him. And uh, Blake Griffin, he was a damn dog. So I said, let me go ahead and uh, get myself a Blake Griffin. So that's what I did. You see right here, he has a four-point lead. Y'all already know in the third quarter, that's when all the fuckery happens. Y'all already know you do not want to get down in the, in the third quarter. But look at this. I'm running plays to get my player down there in the paint. But it's not working for me. But this guy, he just make two damn passes. And they just reward him every time. I was getting pissed off about that, man. They really, really need to patch that part of the defense, man. Make our defense get back down the way we have. We have. I have my points of emphasis set to limit transition. And this guy just gets easy dunks every time. But we gonna, you know, we call timeout right here because I wasn't really getting anything from my starters. And uh, you see, we're just going to slow the gameplay down going into the uh, fourth quarter. But right here, we're down by eight points. And I have my, my bench in. And uh, you're going to see Josh Smith, man. I, I have not been knocking down any shots with Tracy McGrady, Trevor Reza, nobody. Not Ray Allen, but Josh Smith, he knocks down this big three to carry us into the fourth quarter. Now, look what I'm doing right here. I'm changing my defensive settings to a 2-3 zone. And that's what we're going to play in the fourth quarter. I said, look, you've been killing me in the paint. You are going to show me that you can shoot that mid-range of that three. I don't care if you do have Damian Lillard. Don't, because I was looking at his lineup. He has Damian Lillard. He has Kevin Martin. Two knockdown shooters. But at the three, he has the Greek Freak. Now, the Greek Freak, he's good at going to the basket. But he is not good at shooting any shots. He can knock down a mid-range once in a while. But I said to myself, if you're going to beat me, you see, we we in the two three right now. But I am going to play on ball defense no matter what. You're going to beat me on that damn Look at this, Greek Freak going to the damn basket. I went to the 2-3. I'm like, really? I went to the 2-3 and he could get that. I don't know what the hell that windmill layup that he just got. But I said, if you're going to beat me, you're going to beat me off of threes. And you're going to beat me off of mid-range shots. Right here, he shoots his shot with uh, Damon Lillard. And he doesn't make it. You see right here, I'm forcing him to do what I really want him to do. He's trying to pull up shots, but he's not knocking them down. I can tell he's not confident in his shot. If you have Damian Lillard, you know, I, like I said, I'm... Man, I just shot a three with Westbrook, and I shot a three with Josh Mill. I don't care. Look at this. I'm, I'm forcing him to shoot. I'm forcing him. Look, I'm just all over the place. But I'm forcing him to shoot those shots. That's what I want him to do. That's the only way we're going to get back into this game because we cannot just let him keep getting to the paint. It's not going to work out for us, man. And Josh Smith, I mean, this guy, you have to get you a Josh Smith, man. This guy is so good. Look, I'm going to get it back to him on the baseline. He's going to try to take a charge. Look, he's going to try to post him for a charge. I'm going to go right past him. I'm like, hell no. Let's just go ahead and go to the paint. Now we're only down by three. Man, like I said, man, uh, you know, I'm going to just go into that 2-3. And right here, he just... Man, Damon Lillard, he just he was way quicker than Calderon, man. That's that's like that it's a mismatch almost as far as a point guard. It is a mismatch with the point guards as far as speed, but I still love Calderon because he gets my offense going. But look at this. We run the plays to get into the paint. That's what we do. We run the play to get it down into Ray Island. He knocks down that layup. So um right now that's what I'm doing, man. I'm in a two three, but we're all gonna play on ball D no matter what. You see the Greek freak have it on the wing, but he gets it out to Damon Lillard. He does not knock down that shot again. We forcing him to shoot those shots because if you gonna beat me, goddamn, you gonna beat me on the three mid range shots. I can tell your, I can tell your confidence ain't there. You don't have confidence in your shot. That's why you always go to the basket right here. Green Freak again has it on the wing. I'm gonna give you that shot if you want it, but he's gonna pull up right here. Okay, I would take that shot. He makes it. I will give you that shot all the time, but you're going to make me believe you can knock down that shot before I change my damn defense out here. We're down by three again. You see, I'm trying to run my play right here. We give it out to the garbage man on the wing. We get it out. 
I was trying to get it out there to uh, Harrison Barnes, but he didn't pass it out there to him. Get it out to Ray Allen, but we're going to get it back down into Josh Smith. Watch Josh Smith, man. I think he's going to travel his ass off on this shit. But he gets it out, and he goes in for the reverse dunk. Josh Smith is such a dog, man. And right here, he's shooting a free throw. He don't even have he don't even have confidence in his damn free throws. No matter if he's not in the paint, he don't have confidence wherever he's shooting from. If he's not getting dunks and layups, he just can't hit the shot. And that's what I'm saying. You got to change on the fly, man, because most of these guys online, they already know the threes don't count. They don't matter as much as they did last year. Look at this. He's still trying to force it in the paint, but that zone defense is killing them. We end up stealing the ball, get it out to Westbrook. I got my starters back in, and that's what we want to do, man. Now we have a two-point lead. You're going to have to beat me on that damn mid-range of those threes, my nigga, because I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you no matter who. If, if, even if you shoot with Damian Lillard, I'm going to give you that open three. Look at Damian Lillard. He's still open. You see, we just cutting off all his access to the basket. And we forced him to shoot that shot with that, with uh, that was with LaMarcus Aldridge. That's his shot. I give it to you. You got that. Damian's tied up. But like, look at Tracy Gray. Tracy Gray, the teammate, is going to the basket. Getting that easy two to go again. Now let's get back down here and play defense. Cut all his access to the basket and make him work for that shot. Go ahead, you can shoot the three. You got the three with uh the three symbol with Kevin Martin. And you also got the three symbol. I don't think you got the three symbol with uh Damon Lillard right here. You try to pull up the shot again. Misses again. He has no confidence in that shot. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and slow it down. We have the lead right now. We have less than a minute. No need to rush it. Let's try to get this four point lead, man. I'm gonna try to run this play. But you see the play is not going to develop. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this pick with uh Blake Griffin. And that's why I love Blake Griffin because you can get it out to Blake Griffin on the elbow and he's leaving me open. And I knock down the shot on the elbow to give us a four-point lead. We we'll only have 38 seconds left. I probably should have switched back to the to man to man at this point. But like I said, if you're gonna have a three, I'll let you have that three. Right here, Kevin Martin, he knocks down the shot. Now we only up by once. So I'm like, shit. Okay, he got that three to go finally. But he's been putting them up, but he ain't been hitting them. But let's go ahead and slow the game down. There's no reason to rush. That double-team shit, it don't worry. It's not as effective and cheese as it was last year. So I wasn't really worried about that and passing out that double-team. Because he's trying to double-team me at the top of the key. But look at this. Westbrook going to the basket. How do I not hit that? And he ended up getting the rebound. I'm like, come on. And it seemed like that should have been out of bounds. Because he threw that shit off the bottom of my backboard, man. But right here, we clown the paint. And I'm like, nah. I said clown the paint. We crowd the paint. And right here, he has to call timeout. Because he tried his best to get that shot with Damon Lillard in the paint, but we had three men around him. He was not even worried about the guy that was wide open in the damn corner or the man that was wide open at the top of the key. His whole thing was, I am trying to get into this paint, but that 2-3 zone stopped him, and we almost stole it. You see, I, I almost got an on-ball steal, and he ended up catching the ball, you know, catching loose ball and calling timeout. So right now, I'm, I'm telling 2K, look, 2K, he only has a second left. Do not fuck over me with my defense. I am not letting this guy get a good shot off with only one second left. We have a one-point lead. There's only one second left in this game. I already know who the ball is going to. It's going to Damian Lillard. Damian is a heartbreak kid when it comes in the damn. When it comes to clutch time, he will break your heart. So I say, look, I'm going to go ahead and just put somebody in on him. I don't want Westbrook because I like Westbrook on defense, but I want to put somebody tall on him. Give me somebody with a little bit of height. And uh, I see Westbrook, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Ray Allen, he's cool. Harrison Barnes, cool. But this Kelly Oubre, I don't even know who the hell he is. I said, all I know, this Kelly Oubre guy, I don't know if I'm even saying his name right. I know he got some height on him. I'm going to try to get this guy on Damian Little so we don't give him a shot. And I already know the ball is going to Damian Little, so I switch over to Kelly. And uh, I'm just looking at Damian. I already see him right there at the top of the key. And we pull out that shot, and he gets the defensive stance on him, and he gets the defensive stop. And gets that air ball to go, and we end up winning this game by one. So, yeah, man, that was good that 2K actually just looked out for me as far as my defensive settings. It came down into the fourth, man. This guy was killing me in the paint. I had to make some defensive changes on the fly. And that's what it's all about. It's all about is you're going to let this guy, you're going to let him just keep killing you in the paint, or you're going to do something about it. You know, the 2 the 3 don't work all the time, but it was good to see that it actually worked in this game because I went. You know, I almost went into the fourth quarter with an eight-point deficit, man. Uh, only thing that kept us going into the fourth, being down eight, is, you know, Josh Smith knocking down that big three at the end of the uh, third quarter. So, I mean, that's what you have to do, man. You just have to go in and just look at what the team is doing, what the team is giving you, and what the, the what your opponent is just killing you with. And you just got to adjust 
on the fly, man. You see Blake Griffin, he was my player of the game, 5 of 5. I'm loving that I switched over to Blake Griffin because he is a knockdown shooter on the elbow. And uh, you see right here, man, you're going to see um, – Trace McGrady, that's like my go-to guy on my team. He just did not give it to me in this game. But, you know, it was good that my bench came in. They stepped up, and they actually gave me good minutes. They gave me good shots. You know, you see, it was not a lot of scoring in this game from a lot of people that I usually get. But, it, you know, we got scoring where it, where it counted, and it came pretty much from my bench, man. So, Josh Smith and those guys, you know, they all, I, I give a big salute to those guys because they actually won this game for me. It was my bench that brought me back into this game. And me adjusting on the fly and using my high 2K IQ, basketball IQ, because that's what it's all about, you know. I adjust on the fly, man. I got to be looked out for that 2K. You got to look out for people that make good defensive decisions, make good offensive decisions. You ought to reward these people. You got to reward people like me, man. But it's your boy Shout Man. I'm out of here. If y'all like the video, go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up. I'm going to try to come with a playbook tutorial today.